Ladies and gentlemen, ghosts and ghouls, I'm Jeff Fearsome Philbin, and this is the Halloween edition of Dinner Deals. Grab your cauldron as we bring you spooky Syrian chicken, plus frightfully delightful pumpkin spice upside down cupcakes. If you need ideas for what to feed the family, you're in the right place. Here to share her idea for dinner, or as we like to call them, Dinner Dia, is Allie Walding, better known as the girl with the whisk tattoo, as seen on Sugar Rush, on Netflix, MTV's Meme Cakes, and of course her own Instagram. We'll be getting to her dessert ideas soon enough, but first, you have a family favorite recipe. What are we making yes, today? Yes, we're making Syrian chicken with rice, and it's my take on it, so it might be a little different than what you've seen. Mm -hmm. Really excited to share it, though, because I grew up with this recipe. It was always something I looked forward to. I knew it was going to be on the menu, like, it was going to be a good night. I love it. And so what do we just start off with then? Yes, we have jasmine rice going into the pot, the simmering water in the pot already. I'm just following the package instructions. And um, we have a nice plop of butter in there, maybe about a tablespoon. Okay. And I'm just giving this a quick stir to get it all incorporated. I'm not going to stir it after the rice starts cooking, the lid's on. Perfect. But we're stirring it up now, getting it ready. And we're going to let it cook and while we get all the And then what do we have chicken. in our other pan here? Yeah, the other pan we have heating up with some coconut oil. And uh, we're going to saute some veggies in there. Coconut oil. Like, coconut oil. Not an olive oil to start with. We're not starting off with coconut oil. Why coconut oil for this dish? Because it's alley cat in the house. And <laughs> I like coconut oil for health reasons mostly. I really okay. like it. But um, I think the nuttiness is really good in this. I, right I appreciate the flavor it adds. I love that. I love that a lot because sometimes, you know, I don't cook all the time with olive oil myself. And sometimes you got to yeah, mix it up. It's because really strong, the flavors of olive oil. Like, it can overpower things. And totally. while, like, Syrian food is technically kind of like a fusion of Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cuisine, I still, like, felt called to do coconut oil because that's what I do at home. I so love it. This I is my love recipe. it. I'm going to drop this down for us here. Thank goodness. And so what do we need to do first, then? Yeah. With this so, dish? Um, I'm feeling like we should start attacking that chicken right after I dump these veggies okay. into the, we want to make sure it's hot. So I'm going to throw one in there, make sure it starts sizzling. I love it. And what do we piece. have in here? So we have one onion that I did like a little rough chop with. Um, I like big pieces of okay. this dish. And same here, I'm not looking for pretty cuts, just like something you can put on the fork and get all in one bite, right? I love it. Now what did you just do there? Because that was a unique touch. You went uh, one onion, one pepper first. Why did you do that? <laughs> one onion, one pepper. Probably because it's easy to grab at the grocery store like that, easy to remember. Like, oh, just bam, going into bam. the pan. Oh, going into the pan, yeah. So I want these actually to get a little brown, but I still want them to hold their texture. Okay. So I'm looking for like um, like a high saute, but nothing crazy. We don't want them to get mushy. Okay. And okay. so it's fine for them to all join the pot together. I don't want the onions to get translucent like you would in like most like French cooking sure, dishes. Sure, sure. But was it like a test just to see if the pan was hot? Oh, why did I do it at first? My mistake. Yeah, the first one is let's see if the pan's hot. Yeah, I want the oil to be hot. If you okay. put the veggies in there before it's like piping hot, it's just going to be chilling out in that oil. It's not going to start to brown. Okay. You're going to have issues. So sure, sure. It's just proper cooking. So that looks great. We can let that go. All right. And do you know, I've got this really cool toy. I've got I've got the whole Ooh. Chef Jeff camera. So let's just see what's going on. So that was what you were looking for. Now you're looking for a translucent color. A little bit. We want to start browning, so like, what's the heat on? Can we crank up the heat a little bit I more? I think we can. I mean, this Let's is... Let's crank it up a notch. Boom. I love it. Yay! Okay, so yeah. We want these to start to cook enough to like, the, the yellow is going to start really yellowing. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> is that a technical term? <laughs> so technical. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, so right. that's going. Let's, let's get at this chicken. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's go after it. So I think... Like, you know, we have our best tools right here, is my opinion. Okay. As, you know, the handy a culinary, and I like it. So I just, like, when I get a rotisserie, like, I get it from anywhere, any grocery store, rotisserie chicken, it's ready to go. Um, I start peeling it apart. And so I'm looking to just it take makes it the off dinner of them, quicker. Make it, it gives quicker. You, you and know, I like to feel it. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm an animal at heart. So I mean, it's I'm Halloween. Like, <laughs> you got trick or treaters coming to the house. You got to yeah. get ready for the party. I mean, yeah, this so is this on. is like a quick, easy kind of let's get into it then. Let's get into it. I so like I'm it. reserving the skin. I don't want that to go in there. Okay. Um, if I need space, like I'm just going to start scrapping it. You can save the bones, as I'm sure you know, to make a stock really easy. Sure. 
who doesn't love having a nice bone broth or stock on hand in the fall 100%. season. You like so that. easy. You just boil it. You boil the bones for a couple hours. You can add some things like celery, onion, carrots. Uh -huh. You're good to go. Now, do you take that and then do you freeze it? Because I sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll put, no yeah. no I'll take the whole stock and what oh, I'll do is I'll put stock. them into uh, 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 an ice cube. And so that way, then I could freeze them, and so that way, then inside that Whoa. silicone tray, put them into a ziploc so bag, stock cubes and I right have now? it ready to go when I need them. I'm gonna start doing that. It's a cool That's little tip start. because if you want to make Ali Syrian chicken with rice for your dinner, her recipe, along with all the recipes from the show, are on our website, dinnerds.com. Just scan the QR code in the corner of your screen; it's gonna take you right there. So we're gonna just be pulling everything. We're reserving ourselves right, with the bones, go. the skin. Like we just maybe go save in. that wishbone for us to make a wish. Right, you gotta, you gotta pull that on that one here. Wishes do come true. There I mean, we we're right around that I corner right it. there. So we gotta save that, dry <laughs> that part out, come back to dry it, I'll come back. see how it goes for it. <laughs> I like Halloween it. Halloween wish. Oop. Here we go. Yeah, nice. we're just ripping it apart. You can get in there with forks if you're freaked out by this process, but I'm um, imagining you're not. And with this, <laughs> with the pulling and the tearing of separating this, the, the chicken from the carcass here, you know, you have that freedom to just say, hey, I want it to be a little bit bigger. Oh, I can smaller. have them be a little bit yeah. more. I'll make it, it your it own. It should just be pulling and going for it there. Yeah, this is a very rustic dish. Like, when all said and done, like, it's a very throw together thing. Like, if it fits in the bowl and fits on the fork, I love good it. Good to be go. Because this is going to start marrying with the flavors of tomatoes, it looked like, from when we were. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, you want to give that a stir for I us? I will. Let me, let me give you a Let's see how they're doing. All right. Now, is this, is this the color that and, looks and the consistency? You see how some of that is starting to brown, like mm -hmm. just the edges? I love it. And that's going to happen by not over stirring. So, like, you see how I left it? It gives it a chance to mm -hmm. brown in the pot and uh, get some color on there, which we like. And those onions are still looking like they have some shape, which I like, too. Okay. Now, is this the point where we're ready to add our tomatoes in? Not just yet. Not we're, just we're yet. Okay. There. I want to give, now that you've flipped it over, we're going to probably give that one more minute. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I see how right. we're going with this yeah. then. So this is something I always make for my friends. It's funny, like, like Syrian chicken, what the heck is that? You making some weird, funky thing? And honestly, like, if you make this for the family, like, your kids might be a little thrown. My uh, stepdad called it yuckne growing up. I didn't know what it what even was. Say that one more time. Yuckne. I think, it, like, in my mind, it's Y-U-K, like, dash N-A-E. Okay. But I looked it up. I researched it heavily. It does not exist. So. It's not. So, so it it's, like... it's your own stepfather's <laughs> word for it there. He's got his own little, like, language going on. And but then, what's cool yeah. is that you guys as a family, you guys all know what it means. Yeah. You guys have that definition for what we that do. word is. That's the cool thing about food and culture is that you have that opportunity to have fun, celebrate one another, celebrate the birthright and its heritage, and to be able to just enjoy that yeah. process together. I think that, that's exactly. awesome. Very cool. Yeah, so um, if that's looking, like, why don't you give it a turnover one more time? All right. See if it's brown on the other side. Okay, actually, I'm happy with that. That's her? That looks good, yeah. All right, so I want I'm those, those I really in next want time. the onion to have some bite. That's what really makes, like, sets this off, in my opinion. I love biting into okay, like so a nice the bite. onion. Yeah. Do the tomatoes go in next? So the tomatoes do go in, and, like, you see that spoon there? Let's use that, and let's put in um, just the whole tomatoes. We're just gonna the whole tomatoes. We're going to reserve the juice. Okay. Um, we don't need it. We're going to put in uh, tomato sauce after. I'm okay. I'm going to wash my hands. All right, well, you wash your hands. I'll go ahead and help you get these tomatoes in. And these smells are coming alive. It's happening. And I love it. I know. Um, my stepdad never put peppers in it. That's my take on it. I just like to have more veggies. Okay. And I used to do green peppers, but apparently uh, yellow peppers have more nutritional value, so I started using yellow. Okay. And that's looking great. Perfect. Yeah, I love the whole... That's another thing. The whole tomatoes are uh, San Mazzaro? San Mazzaro? I don't know if I'm saying that right. But it's a like, Italian stewed tomato. Okay. And I love it. Like, I love the whole tomato in there. That's also mine. Before, like, his recipe was just sauce and onions. And I'm like, let me make it my own. So sure, sure, this sure. This is what I do. I like the all whole right. tomato in there. All right. That was and all then, of the San Marzano yes, that went in and there. And let's go in with the sauce now. This is going to be the sauce now. The whole thing. The whole thing's Throw going in. in there. Yep. Okay. And let's go in with our spices. Now, what we'll do we have in our spices? Uh, so that we have, we have allspice, cumin, a little bit of cinnamon, believe it or not. Okay. Uh, we have thyme and we have paprika. So allspice is, in my opinion, what also is like the most unique spice in this. Okay. So 
the allspice, it's like, all, you usually only see allspice with baking. Give this a you nice know, little like, serve. do it. Get, get in there. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, well, this devilishly delicious dinner continues to cook. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, the girl with the whisk tattoo makes cake. That's ahead on Dinner Diaz. <laughs> Welcome back to Dinner Diaz, the show that brings you the best chefs around to share their ideas for what you can make for dinner tonight. In honor of Halloween, we're joined by Allie Wolding. She's the girl with the whisk tattoo on Netflix, MTV, and Instagram. Before the break, she started her Syrian chicken and rice with sauteed vegetables, tomatoes, and spices. And now we're adding our rotisserie chicken. We shred it earlier. A little salt and pepper went in there. Give it a nice little spin here. Ooh. Look at all that come together. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I love the smells that are coming through. It's such an exotic dish that is so simple to make. Like, you would think these flavors take a lot of, like, specialty things, but these are all ingredients that are in our kitchens every day. I love it. And, you know, I think it's there's a level of approachability behind it, too, which is fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. I'm a baker by trade, so I, I, you've got to be able to do it at home. you got to do it all at home, <laughs> but we're not just all about dinner. You're here. You gotta help me with the desserts because I know gotcha. baking is a little bit difficult for me. It's always been because I like the whole cooking process. I like the right? whole tasting as I go and fixing, but what do we have here? So to make it easy for you, Jeff, I thought we would do a doctored up cake mix recipe because you know who has time on Halloween to measure everything out. You get amazing results with cake mix. Just crank it up a notch. So in here we have four eggs. We have milk, we have coconut oil, we have pumpkin puree. We got our cake mix, of course, and we are gonna. And put you had sour the... cream as oh, well. Oh, yeah, sour cream! Can't forget the sour cream. So sour cream is kind of like my secret ingredient, not so secret now. It's not so secret <laughs> now, but you know what? Half cup of sour cream, like on one cake mix, will help with uh, like getting a nice tender crumb. Okay. Helps make it really moist, and then adds a little bit of tang without it tasting like sour cream cake. You I know love me? that because for Ali's full recipe with all the ingredients and how to make it, go to our website at dinnerdias.com. But just scan the QR code right there on the corner of your screen. And what are we looking for here? Yeah. Uh, um, hopefully not a mess. So <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that's the fun part about baking. Kinda, yeah, like usually, if you're not gonna have a little bit of a mess when baking, I don't think you did it right then. That's so real. So um, we're doing a scoop in here. I like to use the bowl like while I'm scooping to help with those drips. Okay. So I'm um, just to keep it clean. Um, so we got a scoop and a half going in. You're looking for two thirds of the way full in these cupcakes. So at home you can use two spoons. Give them like a little like shake shake, but I think y'all probably have scoops at home. All right. There we go, that's what I like to do. And then these are gonna go into the oven as soon as this goes. Oh, we added pumpkin spice and vanilla in here. I can't forget that. It's fall, it's autumn, it's, it's fall, Halloween. I mean, you have to do this. I mean, and, and to be honest with you, like the little boy in me is coming out because like this is the part of baking that I do like. It's because it's the taste test part of it all. Literally. Just to see how the batter is because it's That's so good. That's why I started baking, is so I could taste the batter as I go. Nana was always like, don't you do that. You can't do that. And I'm like, I'm going to learn how to do it myself then. I love it. So you know what's really nice about this is that I'm getting the pumpkin, but I'm not getting that softness. Of it. I'm getting so much of that sour cream, fall but flavor. not just, it's the fall flavors. That's just yeah. all coming together. So it smells so good. I can't wait for these to bake. I'm going to throw them in the oven. That sounds great. And we're going to get these into the, uh, the cupcakes into our oven here. And while we take a quick break, when we come back, cake decorating. 101 as we turn them into precious little pumpkins here on Halloween Dinner Diaz. <laughs> Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Today we're turning our kitchen into a pumpkin patch for Halloween as we decorate some delicious cupcakes with Allie Wolding. She was a pastry chef for Dats in Tampa and now better known as the girl with the whisk tattoo. Her dinner idea was Syrian <laughs> chicken with rice, which we made earlier, but the main event tonight, it's Halloween, is her dessert dia, pumpkin spice upside down cupcakes. Before the break, we baked a batch of pumpkin cupcakes. Now it's the fun part. It's time to decorate. Time to decorate. This is my favorite part. All Here right. we go. I know you're sweating bullets thinking about it. A little bit, because like, I'll, you know, like you're for me, this is, this is the hard you. part. So it's, it's really going to be so easy. Your, your mind's going to be blown. So we have green icing going into this bag. And we made this earlier, uh, mixing some butter, the sugar, cream cheese, food mm -hmm. dye. And if you want to see how to do this, just follow us on Instagram at Dinner Diaz. 
There we go. So yeah, we have our cream cheese icing. I have it in a bag fitted with a star tip. This is a Wilton 1M. Okay. But you can use any kind of like star tip, even a plastic one at the grocery now, store. Now, do you need to have the proper bag, the proper no, tip? No, you could use it? a zip bag. You could use a Ziploc okay. bag. Um, you can use again like those plastic tips that you get at the grocery store. Okay. But um, it would be cool to have the star tip, but it's not needed. It's so, not needed. Okay. Um, start with a cupcake. We're gonna unline that. We're gonna throw it upside down. Upside down. I mean, Put it, 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 it is. It is a pumpkin. Pumpkin upside pumpkin. down. Yeah, yeah, so, I yeah. mean, like, you gotta go. All right, I'm already starting off. Here. These, we've, we let these cool yeah. for a little bit. Okay. These, these are looking a little short, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wing it. You wanna go, you wanna go get, double? I wanna go double, so let's I'm go gonna, double, let's, let's make a little sandwich. Okay. There we go. I'll give you a little dollop here. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. I hold the bags at the top. If you have a pastry bag or if you're Ziploc, you know, you can close a Ziploc. Okay. I hold it here and I squeeze here so it doesn't squeeze out the top. Sure. So Here's you have control. What we're going to do. Okay. Start at the base. I'm going to give it like like you're holding a baseball. All right. I'm gonna, you know what I got to go? I got to get the Chef Chef yes, count on this one. I got to go in for it's this one so here. It's so satisfying to okay. see these textures. So here we go. I'm going to pipe up right to the top. Okay. I'm going to go to the other side because I noticed it was wobbling a little bit. And okay. I'm like, oh, I don't want it to fall to one side while I'm going. All right. Give it a little turn. We'll go four quarters. Here we go. Up, so daisy. Okay. Up again. And we're piping really fast, so I'm squeezing a lot. Like, I don't want just a little bit because I want it to build to up. To build on upward. The okay. We want a nice round pumpkin. You see how it's starting to look like I a pumpkin? Like that. All right. So then you're really just starting with like a nice crisscross X formation oh, and then filling yeah. in those cavities to it there. Bring there everything you go. up. Yeah, we got a whole, lot. I mean, I like cream cheese frosting, so this really works for me. I like, I like a lot of icing, I mean, that, that's like the staple of it, right? That looks beautiful. Yeah, All right, let's yeah. see if I can even try to make see, something like this one. Right. All right, so then we so just. So lucky for you, that's not bursting out of the top anymore. Mm -hmm. There you go. Are you left-handed? No, I'm not. Well, am I doing this wrong then? Because I mean, I'm already starting with I the would, left hand. I would you want me to go the other yes, way. I just want you to be comfortable. This is the one guiding it. There All you right. go. That should feel a little bit better. All right, so we'll start with that one here. so good, yes. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna add some vines really loosely. So this is just an open tip. Again, if you don't have the tip, you see how it's just a really small tip like that? Mm -hmm. You can just snip off the end of a little um, Ziploc bag. So okay. I'm just like squiggling it around. You see I'm being like very, I don't even know what the word is for it. Funky. A little funky. I mean, a little funky. It, but that's, that's the fun part yeah. about a cupcake is that you can personalize it the way that you want it to be. You, you don't have to follow inside the lines for it there. If you want to kind of just Bring some great toppings to it. Go right ahead. Let's it looks like you just it. put You're some. You're doing good. Look at that. Look at you go. I can't tell the difference. Yes, fill them in. You're almost there. We'll have enough icing. It's going to be perfect. And we will add some vines. That's going to be your next step. And okay. then we're going with the leaves. And you know, I have some Halloween sprinkles here. If you want to make it like extra Halloweeny, I'm going to go in with some glitter with mine because that's my signature touch. Yeah. Edible. I mean, glitter. come on now. I mean. I love it because like literally. Yeah, magical. All right, so then you just went with the nice little squiggly rude, line to it you know, there. We gotta keep it witchy. Nice magic fairy energy happening. Here we go. And it does so much for it. You can get this on Amazon. I think some some stores locally have it too. Okay. All right. And then and then what's the pretzel that. for? I saw your I saw you go for the pretzel. This is like yeah, the stalk then? It's the stalk. All right. Get a little crunch, I'm little gonna salt. switch out the tip. I have a couple around right. this so I can just switch it out. All right, so you went it. with a little bit of the sparkle there. Can I go with a little bit of like the sparkle? Make it halloween -y, yeah. I gotta make, make it a little halloween creepy. I gotta make mine creepy? I That's love it. Not, not a problem. I think that I've, I've <laughs> I accomplished that. I, I look at mine to look at yours. I think I've already accomplished That's a little bit more bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. Yours is bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. Like. <laughs> oh, it's the bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. All right, it's the scary one. Okay, yeah. all right, all right, all right. So right. Um, something you can do, um, for this is a tip for the advanced people with the, um, this is a leaf tip. So um, what you can do to make your leaves like look more natural is go up and down while you pipe them. Okay. So you can kind of give it a zhoot, 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 and keep going. But um, for you, see, I'm a simple, I'm a simple, a simple boy. I, I just one. give me the sprinkles, like, edit, like let's just go. Gonna, look, that really does actually look like a leaf right there on that one too. All there right. you go. You're I absolutely love it. All right, we will be partaking of these pumpkins when we come right back after the break, as it's taste test time for these and for our Syrian chicken from earlier here on Dinner Diaz. <laughs> Happy Halloween from all of us here on Dinner Diaz. If you're planning on trick-or-treating tonight, we've been making a simple Syrian chicken and rice that you can make beforehand, and it's courtesy of Ali Walding, the girl with the whisk tattoo on Instagram, Netflix, and many more places. She also showed us how to decorate these beautiful pumpkin spice upside-down cakes. Where do we begin? Dessert! 
<laughs> dessert? All right, dessert, cool. Dessert the little kid in us comes out of it, all right? Yes, it's Halloween, yeah. It's Halloween. What do you what do you dress it up as for Halloween? Um, I think Barbie. Barbie? Mm. Mm. Ooh. I love that. I love that there's a surplus of cream cheese frosting because it's yeah. like what I want the most of. It's like a cheesecake. The spice is so moist. It is. And the pumpkin that comes through oh on my it. Oh, God. Mm. That had me going back for seconds already. I know. That's I'm at. I'm like, wait, there's chicken. <laughs> exactly. So Hold this on. is the time now. Ooh. Now, this is an homage to your family's heritage. Huh. Yeah, I grew up wow. with this dish, and it just is a soul food. It's a soul food dish. Like, it definitely just It feeds. brings you to a comforting place. Yeah, it, it warms my heart when I have it. Food, yeah. Food can be able to just totally transport you to somewhere else. Mm. I love this dish. And we cut some steps out. With the it, rotisserie yeah. chicken, we're able to really kind of get into the fun part, which is the cupcakes. Yes. And knowing that we got trick or treaters coming to the house, so. Mm hmm. That it's, makes it's absolute sense. I'm going for this big like, old bite for here. The spice isn't too much, so it is kid friendly. Mm. Like you would think that, like it, it's not too far off from like an Italian dish, like, tomato based, you know, mm -hmm. the spices. So easy for the kids too. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks again to Allie Wolding for her custom cakes. Check her out on Instagram. We have a link to hers from our website, dinnerdias.com, where you can also find the recipes from today's show. And don't forget to let us know if you make these dishes and send us a picture too. I'm Jeff Philbin. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more Dinner Diaz. And remember, anytime you're hungry for a great dinner idea, just go to dinnerdiaz.com. That's dinner, D-E-E-A-S.com. You'll find the complete recipe featured on today's show plus a whole list of other dinner ideas. Another way to find us is by opening the camera on your phone and scanning this QR code that will also take you to dinnerdiaz.com.